Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am now working on a scene for a flag book that I have been promising and working on and it is slowly coming together. And it might be a couple more days before I can finish the prep. So what the prep is, it's getting the pieces ready. I took white basic cardstock. Look at that, white on white, that's bad. <laughs> I took white cardstock, let me move this out of the way, and cut it into one inch strips. This was an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Cut it into one inch strips and then cut each one of the one inch strips into two inch blocks. So I think I have about 26 or 28 of them. And this is what I'm doing to them. Here are my pieces. For my flag book so far. So you can see why it's going to take me a couple of days to get this together is because this stuff is a little bit on the fiddly side. Let me put you down where you can see better. Let's do it that way. Can you see better that way? Scoot it over a little more. Sorry. I don't know why I say that, but I know I can hear you guys going, scoot it over, can't see it. All right, so there we go. Those are my beginning pieces to my, f my, f well, come on, come on, come on, my flag book. So I want to let you know that I am working on a flag book, and this is the prep for it. I used this flag book, the beach scene, as my inspiration. You know how it looks like that? Well... This is going to look the same before it's over. I'm not sure if I'm going to color them in or if I will leave them all black and white. I think I would like to leave them all black and white, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so this is the first part of the future flag book. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back um, to show you what I've done. I have made houses and trees and would like to do a cityscape flag book. Um, I have two extra houses and I had to make two extra trees if I was gonna do it house tree, house tree, that way. So now I have to try to figure out how to space these guys. Do I want them all to go the same direction? Do I want the houses this way and then turn these around and go back the other direction? not really sure what I want to do with them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cardstock and put it on a um, <laughs> all of a sudden the words escape me a board and crease make the creases the folds and see how wide the folds need to be in order for the the houses to pop up and look you know look good so I'm going to play around with that, and when I think I have a solution, it's a little tricky. Um, I've never done one like this before, so um, when I think I have a solution, I'll be back to show you what I've come up with. Okay, I decided to show you how I'm going to do this. Um, I, I had to cut an inch. This is 8.5 by 11 cardstock, and I had to cut an inch off because I needed a couple more trees. So... I guess it's eight and a half by ten. Yeah, it's eight and a half by ten now. So I'm going to turn it to the ten inch side, and I'm thinking about doing every half an inch down the scoreboard, which name totally escaped me the last time I did this. This is a Martha Stewart scoreboard, and these, I have a set of these that are the stylist that have different size balls on the ends of them so that you can use them for lots of different things. This one right here is very pointy and sharp, but that's the only one that's like that. The rest of them have tiny little balls on the end of them, and they make great things for scoring on the board. And I think it's Martha, these are Martha Stewart, but honestly, I don't remember. It's been so long since I've had them. All right, so I'm doing every half an inch because I think if I remember correctly, that's what my flags, whoops, that's what my flags are, 
is every half an inch. I think I need a smaller ball here to do this with. I'm gonna get it too small and rip the paper. There's a big one. Da, da, da. I think it was the other end. The other end of this one. Because it's not staying in the groove. There we go, that's a little bit better. Whoop, and then we went off. So I'm just scoring these and I will score all of these every half an inch to the 10, 10 inch mark because I don't know if I will need more or not and I want to be able to be assured that I have enough scored in case I have to cut this in half or quarters or I need more accordion bump ups than what I thought I might need since I haven't done this in a long time and I haven't really planned this out. Only in my head I can see it. And I have a plan, but we'll see if it comes together. All right, let's get rid of the board. All right, so you can see all my trees and my houses. I think what I need to do is take a picture right now of what I've got with my tablet so that when it comes time for me to do this I will have a photograph of what it is that I wanted to do whoops turn the wrong way so I can I can remember the placement of the trees there we go now I don't care if I scoot them off of here because I can go back and look at it later. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, start folding this. So in order for this to work, this is the prototype that I made. In order for this to work, everything has to be folded accordion style, right? So up and down and up and down, peaks and valleys. So that's what I'm going to do here. And you probably will need a bone folder just to be sure that everything is going well. Um, when you do the, the end of the book, you will need something else to glue onto the end here. Like this one has... I think there's another piece of the accordion underneath here and I covered it up with the blue paper so you can't see it. But there are two smaller pieces or, or I didn't glue anything on the first two of these right here on either end. You know, so I did it like this. Put it on there and covered it up so you can't see it sort of thing. I think I will probably do that with this one also. Something else about this accordion stuff is that the more you do it, the more out of line it gets because of the thickness of the paper. You're going to notice that your accordion is starting to kind of slant. You know how you have the, um, the creep in your books? How the book pages are not all nice and straight down and they're starting to migrate out? Well, this does the exact same thing, so you need to kind of urge it not to do that by creasing it as you go and, and kind of nudging it forward through the fold. Is nudge a real word? Yeah, nudge is a word. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I know it's hard to see the white, and it's kind of hard for me, too. All right, let's see how far we're getting here. And you just keep going back and forth and back and forth and kind of easing the paper into doing what it is you want it to do. All right, let me shut the camera off and I will go ahead and fold this the rest of the way. Okay. Um, you know, one of my favorite places to get inspired for things is on Pinterest. I only say that a thousand times. Anyway, so <laughs> I saw this picture on Pinterest where somebody did a whole page of nothing but houses in a cityscape. So I drew this in my personal sketchbook and I was inspired by this 
to make a flag book out of this. So, like I said, I cut my pieces one inch across, two inches down, and I did a whole slew of them. As a matter of fact, I did a whole piece of cardstock. This is why. Actually, let me show you this. This is what I've got so far. All right. So I wanted the cityscape. So here's my accordion. All right. So you know you did the back and forth. Whoops. You did the back and forth and back and forth. And you've got basically what we made as little kids in school is basically a fan. So I wanted the little houses. I looked at this and I went on Pinterest to look at other people who had drawn these little houses and I got ideas from those. And I sat down and drew a little house on each one of these little pieces of paper. Then I cut them out because I didn't want them to be square. I wanted the roof lines to be more interesting than just a square. I made trees and little houses like city apartment building type stuff. So, this is what we got. Isn't that cool? So, when you're gonna open up the book, what you're gonna get is a cityscape of houses and trees. So when you fold it up in the book, it's gonna look like this, see? And then when you open the book, it'll be just like the seagulls, they unroll. And, it looks just like the seagulls from the side. Just like that. This one is not as flexible as the other one because the other one's slightly smaller. I have, I have a lot left on the end here because I wasn't sure how wide I wanted to make it. I've made 20 or 30 of these little houses and trees and I've noticed by doing it this way that I need more trees and a couple more houses. I'm thinking I want to complete it all the way to the very end here. This will be the part that I glue into the book or one of these two right here. And I'll show you how to do that. But there's my little cityscape so you can see houses both directions. Is that cool? <laughs> Only took a couple minutes for me to remember how to, how to do them. I, and I, I went back. And I looked at this to see how they were staggered. That's why it's, I think, for me, it is really important for me to do a prototype and play around with the prototype before I actually understand how it's supposed to be. So I make the majority of my mistakes here and not in the other thing that I want to make. All right, so I have an idea for another book that I got this morning, right before I decided to tape this, or record this. Uh, and I'll show you what that is in a second. So I'm debating what to do with this one. I think what I might like to do is leave the white, oh, well, because this is a temporary thing, I took the ATG gun and ran it on the bottom of every one of the little houses to kind of stick them up here to see if it was going to work. And then I could peel them off and move them around. And believe me, they got peeled off and moved around a lot last night. Uh, until I could find the arrangement of the trees that wouldn't whack into the houses. And, you know, you need to leave enough width that when you fold it up, nothing snags on the other thing. And I had a couple snags. So I had to, whoops, this one's put down too far. I had to move some houses and trees around so that they would lay more smoothly in here. See, they're kind of lined up. So what I did was I took a house, a tree, a house, a tree. And then when you do it on the other side, I did tree, house, tree. Oh, I have two trees there. Anyway, um... I should have put another house here because it's even. I can't do it that way. See, if I'd done an odd number, this would have been done a little differently. But I'm going to leave this the way it is because I really like it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these little trees and houses off of here. And I'm going to paint sidewalks and grass as a background. You know how this has... You don't see a lot of white on it except for in between as you're folding it and like 
the back sides, which I don't care about. Um, because really people look at it like this. They want to see it flat or they want to see it unfold. They don't care about the white background. Although you could do double-sided. I'm just not that industrious. <laughs> I did not want to draw on the back side of these things. Uh, the front side was enough. So I want to kind of do grass and sidewalks or some color in the background. And I was thinking about putting a little watercolor on the trees and maybe doing a little watercolor on the houses to kind of perk it up a little bit so it's not just strictly black and white. But this is the prototype for the house flag book. What do you think? Yay? Nay. Okay. Um, so I have to make some more houses. But when I was looking at Pinterest this morning to make sure about how to fasten it into the, the cover, which I will show you later, I got another idea. So... You know how I cut these into one inch strips and two inch lengths? This is why. <laughs> I want to do fish. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to look on Pinterest at different kinds of fish. And I'm going to draw fish. Just like I did the houses, I'm going to do it in black and white as my prototype first, then maybe color them in later if I like the way they look. And I don't want them square. I don't... The, the first one was okay as square because it was basically a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the fish on each one of these little teeny white things. And then I'm going to cut the fish out. And I'm going to take the fan paper just like what I did with the houses and do fish. So what's going to happen is when you open it up, the fish will be swimming. So when you when you glue it, let me, where's my ATG gun? All right, so this tail is a little weak. I might have to, some of them, because it was so skinny here, when I had the little scraps, little scraps of paper I would cut them really really thin and then glue kind of a stabilizer on the back here because this is this is very weak so let me put the AT the, the glue on it tape so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it like this and though so you know the fish will be going back and forth and I'm gonna make it blue like the ocean but I'm gonna color the fish so it's gonna look just like this when you open it up, you're going to see blue in the background, and you're going to see all the little fish swimming in the ocean. Cool, huh? Alrighty, so I will make some progress. I'm not going to show on camera drawing all the little fish, because that's really not that big of a deal. What's more important is that you understand the basic structure on how to do it. Uh, and I will, when I, after I draw the fish, then I will come back and show how I put them on here. But right now, I just, I'm just i going to go off camera and I'm going to draw all the little fish because that takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to draw all the little fish. And then I will come back and I will actually show you how I put them on here. That might have to be a whole video on its own. This one's going to be a stand. This is going to be, I guess, part one of who knows how many parts because of my terrible internet. So I'm going to work on this one, my town. And then I'm going to work on the ocean one with the little fish. Okay, so that's it for this video. And then I will come back and show you the rest of it in different parts as I progress. All right, see ya. Bye.